I low-key feel like my channel is turning into like sneaker YouTube. But I'm here for it, I'm here for it. But I'm not here for all the drama. Mm -hmm. I watch y'all sneaker YouTubers. Y'all need a whooping, y'all need to cut it out and get back to these shoes. It's Lisa, it's Lisa, it's Lisa, Danielle. Something like that. What's up world, it's your girl Lisa D and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and click that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video or whatever. Today I'm back with yet another sneaker custom and it's a sneaker custom like no other. Like no other you guys. So the dad sneaker is super on trend. It's been on trend for like two whole years. Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. Reebok, Nike, Balenciaga, Yo Mama, all of them, your aunties, everybody. Everybody's on a bandwagon. But the most iconic dad shoe is the Nike Monarch, AKA the Grill Master 4s, AKA every dad 55 and up sneaker. So last year with the growing dad shoe trend, Nike re-released the Air Monarch in a snow day situation. And yo, that sucker was like $120. But then they thought they would really, really troll us with the Air Monarch, what is it, Martine Rose, Martine Rose, I don't know. All I know is this Monarch had bunions. Not to knock the artist, shout out to the artist, shout out to your creativity, shout out to your shout out, but it wasn't for me. So in today's DIY slash sneaker custom, I'm gonna show you how to take the Nike Monarch, a daddy shoe, to an Insta baddie shoe. Jump though, I love my catchphrases and taglines. So yeah, I decided to do a custom Nike Air Monarch in a cotton candy colorway. So if you like this custom, you can order it from my website, dannyleeapparel.com, and get your very own custom kicks. This is something you can do yourself if you have a steady hand or time, because low-key, it takes like 15 hours to do these customs. So if you wanna see how I turn this daddy shoe into an Insta baddie shoe, then stay tuned. I'm starting out with the ultimate dad shoe and of course we want to prep our shoes so I'm going to remove the laces and using some Angelus prepper or acetone I'm going to wipe away that factory finish or any debris dirt that's maybe on the shoe. Then I'm going to take some Angelus flat white and blue and mix those together to create this really pastel cotton candy blue. I could have easily just low key bought light blue from Angelus but I was like why waste the money when I could just mix these two and make it do what it do. The next color that I'm gonna use is this lilac from Angelus. This is such a really pretty pastel purple. And I really have no order as to where or why I'm putting these colors in particular places. I'm just doing this the way I like it to look. So you can put these colors anywhere you want or use any pastel colors you would like. I'm also gonna take hot pink and flat white and mix those together to create a really pretty, pretty pastel pink. Again, I could have just bought Angelus light pink, but y'all know what it is. I'm lazy or whatever and I'm cheap. So this is how we save money. I'm also going to use this metallic silver for the sole. This took like 10 coats, I'm not even going to lie, because this sole is really dark and this metallic silver is really, really light. Then I just decided to take those pastel colors down to the midsole as well so that it really looks like a big cotton candy bubble. Once you're done, this is what your shoe will look like once you're done painting, of course. But we want to really make this like a bomb baddie shoe. So we're going to add rhinestones to the swoosh. And there's this little like random strip indention thing on the shoe. And we're going to put rhinestones there as well, utilizing E6000 and I have some AB crystal rhinestones. I didn't show how I did this because it's pretty straightforward and standard. But look how sparkly a cute this is or whatever, y'all. Like, I was dying. And lastly, we want to take our Angelus Matte Acrylic Finisher and apply just a light coat over the entire shoe. This will keep our paint from chipping and I love this stuff. It really creates a beautiful finish. And then we are done. So we just wanna add our laces back in. I did customize these laces using Angelus paint. If you want a tutorial on how I dye them, just let me know. And once we've laced them all up, we have our ultimate baddie shoe ready to go for the gram. <laughs> 